Hello there people. Hi. It's us. Long time no see. So this video is something I've been trying to put together for about the last three or four weeks and, and it's taken me rather a long time. So sorry about that. Mm. And um, reason being is... Uh, Big beam. Mm. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're kind of having something done in the kitchen. We're having a new kitchen installed. Oh, yes. We haven't done anything in the 10 years to the kitchen since uh, we've had the house. Yes. 10 years. So um, we're doing that. Well, we're not doing it. We're having someone, someone else is do doing it. it. Uh, not started yet. Due to start Friday, but we're a bit upside down and trying, a lot upside trying down. to sort things out. I uh, haven't been very good. Uh, neither of you really. No. So this video is about how I was in January um, and how I am sort of early March. Yes. It's taken me all of March to get my finger out and get my act together and try and put all the clips together on the edit. But I'm slowly getting there. Yeah. I'm hoping to do it. Well, if you're watching this, I will have completed it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, but wow. it's, it's nice just to say hi to everybody in touch base. Yeah. Okay, so really this is just a comparison video um, with some of the footage taken on our cameras and things. Um, but it's, it's, it's interesting to see the, the difference actually. Okay, well, unless you've got anything else to add, my dear? No, only goodbye, Grotty Kitchen. Goodbye, Grotty Kitchen. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Good morning. It's uh, it's the 9th of March today, 2022. Not long got up. Teresa's in bed still. And um, just been to feed the birds. I'm absolutely wiped out. On the 14th of February, it was a Monday, I think, I just looked on the calendar, I decided that I wanted to, um, let's have a quick look, February, yeah it was a Monday, so on 14th of February I, I've been taking five steroids, prednisolone, every morning, and um, they've been affecting my eyesight really bad making me very blurred and I've read that it also increases the amount of floaters and I swear I've got more floaters in my eyes looking at my eyes is like just looking through a cobweb so I decided I'm going to try and reduce them uh, one by one tablet every two weeks I'm just looking at the cameras there's two three big crows on our, on our, um, on our drive <coughs> oh they've, they've gone now Anyway, um, <coughs> that's another thing, I seem to have developed, a, a, I'm a bit chesty in the morning, developed a bit of a cough. It goes. So back to the steroids. Um, yeah, so I decided I was going to try and reduce them. And I reduced them by down to four tablets. I was on five, been on five for absolutely months. <coughs> Reduce them to four on the 14th of February um, and then left it two weeks, reduced it to three on the, what day would that have been then, reduced it down to three on the 28th of February and I've been on three until today. <coughs> Um, on the 14th of March I would have been due to reduce them down to two but I feel I've got to pull them back up to five again because my mobility has significantly been affected uh, my back is so stiff I can barely walk again the tops of my legs just like jelly, wobbly. Uh, the pain in my back is horrendous when I'm trying to walk, not really when I'm sat down.
I've got increased pain in my legs as well. So I kind of just don't know what to do with myself. I feel the only thing I can do is go back to five steroids and, and hope things improve just a little bit, you know, because this is pretty bad at the moment. For a while, going back a few weeks, um, sort of January time, I, I, I had oh, I had my rituximab in January, and I also had um, I had a, a little bout of um, intravenous methylprednisolone steroids, but only a small amount. <clears throat> For a while, I. I I improved a bit. I was filming myself walking around without a stick quite quite reasonably. But um, that that was short lived, I'm afraid. <sighs> so that little experiment didn't go well. Well it kind of did because it told me that um, I think by coming down off the steroids they were keeping inflammation in my back down. And so by coming down off the steroids, the prednisolone, um, I think I've probably got increased inflammation in my back now, affecting everything. So um, we'll see what happens when, uh, well, I've taken it back up to five this morning and we'll, we'll see what happens over the next week to see if things improve again. Hopefully they will. See you later.